the first point of call is they'll call me or they'll my agent will email me mm-hmm. and it's all done through written words so they'll say and, it, and it'll be also be under a code word i forget what the code word was oh no 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 you ain't gonna say that <laughs> we, we know marvel so whatever they say yeah we just gonna stay away from it whatever code word they say we just say code yeah, word yeah, but yeah, yeah. Hey, welcome back to another episode. This is Undefeated with Michael Montgomery, a weekly show where we talk about building wealth, healthy relationships, and asking the hard questions about the, each other to be successful and never take a loss. Today, I have a special guest, special guest, special story. I'm sure y'all heard of this new movie coming out, Spider-Man No Way Home. This guy is a rock star in the music, in the movie trailer business, James Murray. Hi, Michael. Thank you so much for having me on, man. Um, yeah, real pleasure to be here and talk to you about, uh, about my, my, my wheeling and dealing in the movie tra- <laughs> uh, trailer industry. Man, that's, that's amazing. Thanks so much, man. How, how surprised was you when you, when you got this big and uh, huge, huge response when everybody saw the trailer? Oh, for Spider-Man? Oh, man, when the... Uh... When the teaser came out, it uh, it just I didn't I didn't know it was going to be obviously being a, a huge Marvel movie. I knew the reception was going to be big. We were going to, you know, it was going to get a lot of views. But um, yeah, it, the the teaser, uh, the first one we did back in August, mm-hmm. um, yeah, that broke all the movie trailer records for End Game. So that was the most watched movie trailer of all time, um, which was like four. I can't remember how much it was I, now, four to five hundred million. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, over the weekend. Yeah, yeah. it said because um, the Avengers, it said it was two hundred and eighty million views, and mm-hmm. Spider Man No Way Home was three hundred and fifty five million views, and this was like right in August, so things has doubled. So, but mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, the ama- the response was amazing. So talk talk to us about the process. Do they give you? Do you have a chance to see the movie first? Or do they just give you scenes and you just work with the scenes and they kind of, so what's the process of when they contact you and when, you know, the development process? Yeah, sure. So kind of the way it works, especially with these big Marvel movies, the, um, you know, any, any leaks or anything to do with plot or storyline, it's such a sort of crippling thing. And, you know, and people go crazy for, the, yeah. you know, what's going to happen, what, who's going to be in the movie, the, yeah. the storyline, you know? Um, so they generally don't let anything off, off the Marvel campus, um, any scenes or anything. So the first point of call is they'll call me or they'll, my agent will email me mm-hmm. and it's all done through written words. So they'll say, and, it, and it'll be also be under a code word. I forget what the code word was. Oh, no, no, no. You ain't got to share that. Just, <laughs> we, we know Marvel. So whatever they say, yeah, we just going to stay away from it. Whatever code word they say, we just say code yeah, word. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's different for every movie. Every movie. Uh, so this one's obviously coming. It's, it's, it's nearly out now. So, um, but yeah, they'll, they'll say we're working on this movie. They'll, they'll drop the code word and, uh, and, and whatever. And then they'll say, it's, they'll just kind of give me a, a, a rundown of, of, what they're looking for um and honestly generally it's pretty it's pretty vague they'll be like it's superhero uh, web slinging <laughs> sl- web slinging action we want it to be we want it to be fun but we want it to be cool but happy but dark you know and they'll just throw all these words out. yeah yeah um, do the, and and never and they never like say the name they just say oh it's a web you know web slinger action like we already know what it is but they try to like be secretive about it yeah, no, yeah, exactly. Every time, it, that's it. I had the same thing when I trans- the Bumblebee trailer a few years ago. Yeah. That in the brief, it was saying something like, you know, it's a it's a bond between man and machine, you know, and it's like that's a big line from the movie. Yeah. If anyone was into Transformers, so yeah, they they they'll drop little hints, you know, they're um, pretty, you know, obvious hints. So yeah, you know, what once I kind of decipher their um fairly vague message you know at the end of the day you know it's kind of be like a spider-man movie or or a batman yeah and there's a certain there's a certain sound that goes with it and yeah we just kind of get cracking on it to be honest oh nice and and do they just do you have a chance to see the whole film or do they just feed you certain scenes from the movie and just say hey work with it uh no no like for spider-man we didn't see anything so once we'd done the kind of initial um pass which is we sort of knock 
you know, the, almost a full trailer up, mm -hmm. um, but it's not quite so intricate. Um, kind of like the the three main acts. So you got your intro, um, which is kind of your dark, mysterious scene setting bit. Mm -hmm. Then act two, where the trailer picks up a little bit, is more of a character development. And then act three is uh, the full blown action. You know, that's when you know there's stuff flying through the screen and yeah. Spider Man's you know flying off a building and all this stuff. Um, so once we've done that uh, initial um, kind of take on it, we'll send it off to the editor, mm -hmm. um, and then they'll they'll start messing with the imagery and cutting the the trailer to our track. And then mm -hmm. if if there's synergy and they and they like it and it's kind of you know in the right direction, they'll come back and then over the phone and email they'll give us more specific um, uh, kind of notes on on how it needs to move with the trailer um whether it needs like a, a stop or like a big yeah. sound you know all this stuff and they'll give us time that, um sort of time stamps um and this will go back you know backwards and forwards for for weeks sometimes you know oh nice nice and when you say yeah. editor you said you mean the marvel editor or your personal yeah. editor in your company no, no Marvel editors. So they, they have like an in-house suite of, um, of uh, I don't know how many editors they have now. Um, but yeah, they're, we're the kind of on the music side. So we'll, we'll create it and then they're dealing with the visual. So, oh, okay, okay. Uh, I, I get it. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. So it's kind of, it's a, you know, once, once we've kind of done our music side of things, it's um, kind of, you know, we give all the faith in the editor that he can cut it right and, and, and make a, a real badass kind of, uh, trailer out of uh, what we give him so um visually anyway you know and and and, and what all right and and you they say you give you free range to to create whatever you want what inspired mm -hmm. you uh to put like the original sound like what inspired you for that trailer to put that music in because you kind of made it old but you put a different spin on it like what was your inspiration behind that that, that spider-man trailer Oh, uh, so yeah, you, you talk about the theme. Yeah, so that was actually, you know, something we've, there's been kind of a bit of a trend recently, which is to bring in the, the kind of reimagine the themes um, in these superhero movies mm -hmm. um, in kind of a new way, you know, freshen them up kind of thing. So that, that was really, it's, it's just a trend that's going on now. So, you know, we, we were just trying to be right on the pulse and, and tap into what's current. And, um, yeah, they, they loved it. Yeah. Kind of um, like, like the, actually the movie based off what we've seen, it's kind of like it's in with the same, but you know, a reimagination of, of everything with all the new old villains coming back. So it's kind of like the music is tied to the, to, to the film with all the old villains coming back. So, yeah, no, no, exactly, exactly. It's kind of, um, you know, the 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 the, the metaverse or the universe yeah, and the yeah. Spider Man thing right now is is kind of collapsed, and you've got all these all the all the great villains to come back. So um, yeah, it's it's kind of um, they're trying to sort of bring back a bit of that old school magic, um, uh, and and it's a nod to the you know you know sort of all, all the great movies that have made already. So. Man, that's that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. And when you do music, do you go off on a trailer for the film? Do you go off a certain feel uh, in between sets, or do you do you try to track it? Like, I want to start off dark, creepy, mysterious, or come in with action? Because uh, you know, I know there's a, a a system in place. What would you? How do you kind of like go about it? Do you write structure it like in your head, or you go off a feel when you get in the booth? What's what's your your mindset behind that? Uh, yeah, generally the, there is kind of a pretty hard and uh, you know a set kind of structure to trailers that is uh, a bit of a winning formula if you can if you can crack it, which is that you start soft and and mysterious and kind of mm -hmm. dark. Um, and then you build, you know, it's the, when you, when you think of a, a movie trailer, it should kind of be like an ice cream cone. It starts really small. And as you just get bigger and bigger and bigger, and the climax is getting bigger and it's getting more intense and more intense uh -huh. and stronger, you know, and every, as we get along to the final, you know, kind of explosions or something, you know? Um, so yeah, that's, that's generally how we always try to start. And then so, sometimes they might want to have a slightly different feel on the trailer. Um, mm -hmm. If it's some, if it's like a comedy trailer, for instance, like I just did one on Netflix called "Don't Look Up," which came out, which is um, with Leonardo DiCaprio, yeah. Jennifer Lawrence, 
a lot a lot yeah all uh, star studded car with that one they wanted to kind of get into it a bit more and throw some jokes in mm-hmm. so it was it wasn't the same kind of um format as the spider-man one you know um so there's some variation but even still there's still this kind of always building um sort of tension and uh excitement throughout you know you gotta gotta get somewhere yeah. Oh, perfect perfect so mm. so just transition all the way back so what started your musical journey what was the origin of the musical journey how did when did you start when you start how old was you uh so i started playing guitar i mean my parents you know they tried to get me to learn violin um i think uh flute as well when i was like I, a kid kid i played <laughs> i played the flute <laughs> oh yeah? yeah i was the biggest flute player in school <laughs> so oh man, man. you still playing it now <laughs> yeah i still i still know the fingers like uh, still know how to read the music of it so nice 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 yeah you know so my, my parents tried that with me it didn't um i was very very young i guess i was like seven or eight mm-hmm. um that didn't really, it just, it, it didn't really sort of um, take off for me. So about at the age of 13, I suddenly just had this burning desire to play guitar, uh-huh. um, which I don't know where it kind of came from. Um, my parents are big musical, they're not musical as such, but they're big music fans. They love live music. They, you know, that's their, that's their passion. They'll, they'll, they'll go out hunting live music. Um, so it probably comes from them. And, you know, I, I started playing guitar at 13 and, that's all I wanted to be. I wanted to be Slash, you know, I wanted to be in Guns N' Roses, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I wanted to live, live in LA, be on Sunset Strip. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so I, uh, yeah, played guitar for, for, you know, quite a few years through my teens and I studied on guitar. I've got my Bachelor of Arts on, on guitar. Um, and then after that, I, uh, yeah, I was in a metal band that was signed to kind of a smaller offshoot of Sony back in mm-hmm. Europe um, in my late teens. And we, we toured all of all of Europe for, for years, oh, nice. uh, put out a couple of um, couple of albums. The band was called Eradication. If, uh, if anyone's into like, you know, very heavy death thrash metal. Yeah, then, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's my type. That's something I would listen to before I played football, before I game. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah I, that, I would that, go that would off, you up. like, going to, mi- like, you know, because I know, you know, my motivation is a lot different from other guys. Some people like to be quiet. Me, I'm more, like, ready to headbutt people. So I put on some rock music and, <laughs> and, 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 and wig out. But Yeah, you know, you know. <laughs> well, that's good, good. So you went to... Uh, uh, Went, toured around the country then yeah. did, and then how did how did that um, opportunity of uh music trailers come up like how did that opportunity come up with the, you and your your business partner uh james i mean yes mr hayden we, yeah with ben um so it was yeah so what after whilst i was in the kind of metal band and touring the the lead singer mm-hmm. um he started dating it was Pure, you know, kind of a bit of luck to be honest. The lead singer started going out with a girl who had a big record deal in, in England, like a, on a, a major label. Um, so I started playing guitar for her, and um, she introduced me to a lot of people in, in studios in London. And what was and her that. name? Her name was Tiffany Page. She never she never made it big, but she was signed to Mercury Records in England, which is a, a major. She was kind of in that um, uh, Atlantis Morissetti kind of vibe, yeah. uh, or um, Gwen Stefani. Sort of, sort of thing and uh but yeah from her I, I got introduced to lots of major studios and producers in london um who you know liked my guitar playing so they would bring me in to sort of session guitar and fit on stuff and that's when i started working with um uh, one of the spice girls jerry hallowell um and like lots of other sort of pop artists if, if you want um nice. But when I was sort of in these pop sessions, you know, I tried to write music for them and they'd always be like, man, it's, it sounds awesome, but damn, it's so dramatic, you know? <laughs> oh, <yeah>. So <laughs> I was like, you know, I just couldn't, I couldn't write pop music, uh, you know, that it, it was okay, but it was always very, very dramatic. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, somebody, somebody heard it and uh, they sort of said, this is great for, for TV. So um, I started working for a couple of companies in the TV realm and, um, and then naturally, my, my stuff was always pretty trailery mm-hmm. or, or cin- cin- cinematic. So it just kind of naturally, other people heard it and I started getting calls. And um, 
yeah, me and Ben, we met each other uh, on a night out with one of these TV companies and both said that we loved trailers and we, you know, had a lot of the same interest musically. So we just started working together. And um, yeah, honestly, one thing led to the next and, and people heard our stuff online and, and it's just kind of, you know, over the course of a couple of years, just the, the ball has uh, been spinning and it's um, people have just been sort of, you know, finding it and, and uh, calling us up. So that's kind of how we ended up in the sort of major trailer realm, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It, and it's amazing, man. You uh, From track record, from Bumblebee to uh, Aquaman, to the Batman movie, to the Kingsman that's coming out mm-hmm. later next year, mm-hmm. and the Morbius movie coming out, you know, yeah, it's, it's, it's always great to see, you know, you put your best foot forward and, and had a plan and, you know, you had the education as, as well to back it up. Mm-hmm. So, and mm-hmm. I, I noticed you worked with a lot of major people when you was mm-hmm. doing guitar, like Rita Orr, uh, Becky Hill mm-hmm. and, uh, Sophia Ellis Berkster, you know, and, mm-hmm. you know, with your experience that just led up to what you're doing now is just amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, they're definitely working in the um, in the pop. You know, I worked under a lot of uh, really great producers who who wrote for these you know artists, and and um, it kind of you know it taught me a lot to ha- how to write a lot of different styles of music because they're all very different artists. And mm-hmm. there was a lot of other artists that would come through, like you know unsigned ones and um, everything from like you know acoustic singer songwriter stuff to um you know like uh, early days of disclosure were coming in and uh, kind of house artists so all, very different scope it taught me a lot of skills um on how to compose music or write music uh, which i still use you know today in movie trailers um because you know every movie trailer is very every campaign is very different so we mm-hmm. end up having to do t- kind of different styles and you've got to be super versatile so it, it, it taught me a lot yeah Man, that's that's amazing, man. It's, that's awesome mm. to hear. What, and uh, so, what can people look at, uh, look forward in the future with you? You know, I know you got the Morbus thing coming up. Is there anything you could disclose that you're working on that be excited to look forward to? Uh, yes. I mean, it's always a little tough. I have to remember which ones I'm NDA'd and which ones I'm not. Okay. Well, <laughs> no, know. no, we ain't going to play with that. We ain't going to play. We ain't going to mess with the bread, mess with uh, the bread. Uh, but, uh, no, 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 it, no, it's good. But there, there, there's, there's a few in the works. I can, I can sort of say there's a couple of, um, uh, triple A games that I've been working on, um, that, that are coming out that seem pretty close, seem pretty close. Um, there is, uh, yeah, and a couple of uh, more superhero-y type movie trailers on the on the go. So, Man, that's, that's what's um, yeah, yeah, no. If they, you know, people want to just check out our, our our socials, we're you know we're the first ones to post it. So yeah. as soon as I can, I'm, I'm, I'm throwing <laughs> it up there. You know, <laughs> that's good. Will, will, you, will you be able to? Go, are you be able to go to the premiere or anything like that? you know that's why i was saying to you before we before we started you know it's nice to kind of talk about movie trailers um because uh yeah honestly we just get uh kept in the background you know we're yeah. lo- locked up in the studio and uh and and we, we do our bits and now uh, we won't be going to the the premiere or anything um i'm sure there's way more important people to go there you know yeah. but uh um but I'll definitely be going to the cinema to watch it. That's for oh, sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, yeah, amazing to see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what? Uh, so I got some funny, got some fun questions. Mm-hmm. All right, top five movie trailers of all time. Like the first time you seen it, you were like, "Oh, I can't wait to see that movie." The music, everything, the scenes. What? What's the top five that kind of stood out for you? Oh man, top five, top five. Um. So there was a um, movie trailer. We're going back there, the movie Interstellar. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a track on there called, it was a track called Final Frontier by a guy named Thomas Ferguson, who is um, one of the guys in Two Steps from Hell, if anyone's familiar yeah, with them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. And, you know, a fantastic composer. And they, they, you know, that track was just, it was one of the ones that really set me on a path to to want to be a, a trailer composer you know i just was watching it. it was so epic the strings were so good and it was you know obviously instead of being a, an amazing movie too it was like huge scale mm-hmm. um so definitely that one that you know that's right up there um another one um i'll pick a, a slightly newer one um 
I'm trying to think of one that's not mine. Um, <laughs> I know because a lot of yours, a lot of the ones you've done, those are mine in, in my top five. I was looking like I was looking through you, man. I was like, oh man, he did, that, that's mine too. Yeah, that's mine too. Oh, like. yeah, yeah, no. Um, uh, I was actually a big fan of the Dune one that came out recently by a guy named Mark Petrie. Um, oh, okay, he actually he he you know I was very jealous. He um he actually went into Hans Zimmer's studio and worked with Hans on it. So oh, man. a lot of the, yeah, right. You know, that's kind of, um, you know, the Holy grail. Yeah. So, right. And, uh, yeah, he got to go in and, um, and work with Hans and take his themes and reimagine that, mm. uh, reimagination them for, uh, for the trailer. And, um, yeah, it came out and it's it's awesome. It's all this kind of cool choiry stuff and, and voices and then it's big brass that comes in. So that one, that one was also, you know, or like, you know, so good recently. Um, I would say number three is probably another one by by Mark. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw him in there again. Mark Petrie. Um, he has a track called Redshift um, mm-hmm. that came out on uh, the Avengers um, Endgame trailer. Uh, for us in the in the trailer world, it kind of in the epic side of things, it kind of changed, you know, a lot of. Mm-hmm. Um, of the scene, really, of, of how we write music or, or the style of the music we we, we produce. Uh, produce. Um, it's yeah, it was just so epic and a much darker take. It's got these dark cellos in there, mm-hmm. um, and and it's just a slightly just a new sound. So that one, going back a few years, that 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 changed a lot for us. Um, I was a big fan. Another one, I was a big fan. Of, I actually don't know who did it. I always tried to find out who did it, but there's uh, the Tomorrowland trailer um okay. which is yeah which is a, a few years old now but, but the music on that is is so good um it's got a, a good amount of the sort of classic epic stuff you want but then this kind of amazing sort of fantasy myst- but but otherworldly mm-hmm. elements going on so that's definitely one to check out um and one more um yeah you know, I'm actually, you know, I probably shouldn't do it, but I'm gonna throw, we're gonna throw one of mine in. Such, such I was a, like, I was, I was waiting for that to come yeah. in. I'm like, come on, man, you ain't gonna say yours. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm gonna throw one in. I'm not some, you know, the, the trailer's awesome and it had a great um, reception, but it was more the when I was able, the, me working on it, like what a what an experience it was to work on it. So um, I did the the first Batman trailer to come out. Um, in 2020 which mm-hmm. was the first look um uh the summer of 2020 are you talking about and, the one uh, um the the one with uh uh christopher nolan or, or this new one the new one the new, the new one yeah new, so new came, one. okay yeah new one so they hadn't shot much of the movie um and they wanted to drop like a um, a trailer at the dc event mm-hmm. and um we got um asked to uh kind of reimagine um a kurt cobain nirvana song Mm-hmm. Um, of course, something in the way, which is one of his acoustic tracks. Um, so they sent me Kurt Cobain's like uh, raw vocals and his raw guitars separately. So I had them in the studio. I could hear every breath. Um, and then we got to take that and we got to make it into something that, you know, with his vocal and his guitar and add orchestration and make it into um, something that sounded like, like Batman, you know, big yeah. and epic. Yeah. Um, and that was just such an experience for me growing up listening to Nirvana um and being a huge fan to, to actually have you know his his original vocals and and guitars you know in on, you know, on my computer you know come through my speakers and and to work with it was just such a it was a huge honor mm. and um yeah you know trailer came out everyone went crazy for it yeah, and it, yeah. it was it was just it was just all Oh, you know, all in just a, a great experience. So I've uh, got, got to throw that one in there. Man, that's amazing. I'm, I'm going to tell you mine, my top five. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Marvel's Infinity. It's not in order. Marvel's Infinity mm-hmm. War. That's you. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bumblebee. That's you. <laughs> I like, I like, <laughs> I, got, I like the It Chapter 2 uh, movie oh, okay. trailer. Yeah. 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 Uh, I really was fascinated with the uh, Fantastic Four. Uh, oh, the, yeah. the the last one. I know it didn't mm-hmm. make as much money, but the trailer and the music was was really like really good. Uh, mm-hmm. And then I throw in one other one. Uh, oh yeah, Marvel's Avengers Ultron. And then mm-hmm. my sec my last one. It's not in there, but it's uh, Us with uh, Jordan Peele. Us. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah. I really like that feel, how they played the music with the rap and the horror. It was just just mag magnificent. But uh, Yeah, was the, was the last one the cover? I forget the artist now. Um, uh, I, I forget the artist. Was it the five cover? No. Yeah, um, it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was, was I, I got five on it. Yeah, they did. They, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they they remake that the, song. The, yeah, and they, they did it with the uh, the piss cars. I actually know the guy who did that. Oh um, wow! He, yeah, yeah, yeah. His name is his name is Mark. He's a he's a really really nice guy. Um, he owns a company called Boomerang. Um, we've we've worked with him. Um, yeah, really super super nice guy. Lives here in LA. Man, um, that's that's amazing. This it's it's some really great stuff. I said, man, you know, when it comes to music and trailers, you know, the guys in y'all position, y'all really lead the helm and mm. and provide excitement for a film. You know, I, and also mm. music is so important. It you know conveys a a, a tone of the film and the project and make you want to feel so what mm -hmm. y'all are doing is such amazing I, I i'm gonna tell the story to the, the listeners i remember the first time we met and we were just talking just out of the blue i didn't know what you did or anything and we were just talking about like what type of music you like listening to before a game i said man i like I like listening to like music scores for films. Like, really? And I'm like, yeah, man. I just like how it builds up and, and dramatics. And it, you're like, really? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm all into that stuff. You're like, yeah. You're like, me, me and uh, do it. I was like, really? I was like, yeah. So it was it was amazing to see how it just connected and 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 you know it, you know music always does something in, to you emotionally. And uh, man, it's it's just uh, great to meet you. And it, it was really fun. No, no, right, right back, uh, right back at you, man. It was, um, yeah, back to when we were we were talking about it. I'm always, you know, surprised when you know it's just it's it's a very sort of niche thing that we we like tra trailers. It's definitely got its underground uh, following, yeah. but I'm always just I'm just so excited when I when I meet someone who uh, who's into it like we are. You know, you were reading off like you know companies that I've worked with and know, and I was like, damn, maybe, you know, Mike really knows. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I really know because I. <laughs> Cause I uh, had a thing for music, and I remember I sent you that little video I made, and I put mm -hmm. a little music in, and so I really like was a mess immersed into it, cause you know I think you know music like that, especially highlights and dramatic, you know it just it just makes a winning combination. But uh, mm -hmm. just want to wish you much success. I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. Where can everybody find you on social media? Uh, so they can they can find us on so my company. Um, it's me and my my co-writer Ben Hayden, who lives back in England. Uh, it's called Black Hydra. Uh, you can find us uh, on Instagram, which is um, just Insta the, the handle of at Black Hydra. Um, Facebook is Black Hydra Music, and our, our website is uh, BlackHydraMusic.com. Um, yeah, we got you know we put music out publicly too, so you can find us on like Spotify. And um, if people want to hear. The, the the latest spider-man trailer music in its entire entire form before we'd done the kind of crazy chopping up of what needs to be done for the actual image mm -hmm. uh imagery um it's up on spotify now uh, um sorry uh, excuse me on um on youtube um so people can hear it you know in its in its pure form if they if they want to hear it it's, it's all up there so um yeah and you know, if anyone does uh, want to contact us, want any advice or anything like that, just just ping us a message. We're we're always down to to talk. So. Okay, and y'all are independently ran, so any it doesn't have to be a big Marvel company. Anybody can contact y'all for any you know want want their music to put on their films. Uh, is correct? Yeah, that's it. That's it. So we it's um it depends on the piece because um we um we have like third party representation on some pieces. So sometimes someone will email us and they'll want to license it and we have to uh, get our publisher involved but it's yeah we're, we're non-exclusive so we can certainly write music for anybody um uh but pre-existing pieces it's kind of a uh, uh you know it just depends on who 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 represents that piece whether it's us or somebody else mm -hmm. um but yeah we uh we're always down to work with new people and and, and see what we can do man well hey man i definitely appreciate the opportunity uh, any, any, everybody out here that y'all go out and support the movie support the music man what he's doing is awesome man so uh, again thanks again for the opportunity and anybody that's out there listening you know remember you know whatever you're going through in life you know you're not alone you know you mm -hmm. gotta seek counsel 
you know, everything for the mental well-being of others. You know, undefeated, you know, regardless of what happens to you is, is what happens, is what you do when things happen to you is, is the best notion. So undefeated with Michael Montgomery, James Murray, and I'm out. Thank you.